Hi, my name is Rhonda from Mbaka Design, and I'm going to show you how to join new yarn using a single crochet join. Now, this is a very simple process. What you need to do is you grab your hook, your project, where you need to work, get your yarn that you want to add, make a slip knot, insert your hook, make sure this is the loop that's moving. Then you're going to insert your hook into the stitch you want to join the new yarn and pull up a loop, pull through two loops for your single crochet stitch. Now if you want to work over this end immediately, pull it to this side gently, insert your hook into the next stitch and underneath the yarn end, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. For single crochet, it's simple. You just Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. I'm going to continue to do the single crochet stitch all the way across and on the way back, and then I'll show you how to finish off. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through. So one single crochet stitch in each one is what I'm working right here. And once I get to the end, for the single crochet stitch, you would chain one, turn. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so you work into that first stitch under both loops. And you work all the way across. right to the first stitch. Now, you'll see here that the yarn you already worked under, it's already held in place, but you can still weave it in to make it secure. To finish off, all you need to do is chain one, grab your scissors, snip the yarn, and pull that through, then tighten this, and weave in your ends. For me to weave in, I tend to weave in a lot just because I like to have a lot of yarn worked into my project in case they ever come loose in the future. And I try to stay within the same color of yarn I'm using when I weave in instead of going into a different color. And I like to work in different directions. Once in a while I'll go through the threads or the pieces of yarn instead of under a loop just to make it a little bit more secure and harder to come out so this one's done and then i snip close to the work and for the other one i would do the same thing in different directions to make it a little bit more secure. and then snip to end off that end. And then you have your color changes. Hope that was helpful.